The Xbox Series S is a fantastic console, but you may not be using it correctly. That's why in this video, I'm going to share some of the best Xbox Series S hidden secrets. If you go into your system settings, console info, and then follow this button sequence, left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger, you can unlock a hidden menu for developer settings. Do be warned that one force move inside of this menu can completely break your console and rendering it absolutely useless. So I will not be held responsible for any of you that wish to to try this and it goes wrong. If you purchase a Microsoft developer key, you can enter a code. There are multiple steps to this setup, which also includes installing the Xbox Dev Kit app. But if you research this further and watch a detailed tutorial, which this video is not, you can install things such as RetroArch and turn your Xbox Series S into an emulator, allowing you to then play PlayStation 2 games, classic titles from Nintendo, and so much more that this console was never intended to be used for. However, unless you want your Xbox to look like the one inside of the thumbnail, now let's maybe stop trying to be a hacker and look at some safer custom options. Pressing the change view button on your controller while on the home page is a shortcut for the customization settings. Here you can choose between light and dark mode. Light mode gives you a more traditional Xbox 360 look. However, if you want both, you can schedule your console to switch between light and dark depending on the time of day or when the sun sets. Furthermore, probably one of the biggest complaints about the Xbox is its overcluttered UI. And it would be a huge mistake if you didn't take the time to fix this. Continuing to explore these settings, you can change the home page layout and remove unwanted tiles to clean things up. A new addition with the next generation consoles were dynamic wallpapers. These are cool pieces of background art that have moving elements. Over the past year, especially thanks to Halo Infinite, there are now a lot of these available and more can be downloaded from the Xbox store. Can you remember the Xbox Kinect, that weird little camera that everyone had in their living room? Well, I personally thought that it was pretty cool. Well, at least as a kid, when I was was playing on the 360, jumping around the living room on Kinect Sports. Even though the glory days for the Kinect are now behind us, there is one feature that still remains in secret. And if you have missed screaming at your television, Xbox record that to capture an epic gameplay moment. Check this out. Whoa, Xbox record that. You'll be pleased to know that by connecting an Amazon Alexa or Google Home to your Xbox, you can use voice commands once again. Another common Xbox mistake is incorrectly installing your games. If you didn't know, you can use a filter option on the Xbox Store or while browsing Game Pass to easily see what games are next generation, Series S and X optimized, and which are not. Games with these icons must be installed on the super fast internal SSD or the additional Seagate expansion card. However, if a game is older, from the Xbox One or 360 generation, it does not need the fast drive speeds. So these can be installed onto an external hard drive, which are significantly cheaper with huge storage space, letting you get the most out of your Xbox Game Pass subscription, and it also saves you money for additional storage. I've seen a lot of gamers waste that valuable internal storage space on games that don't even require it. So using these filters while browsing can make choosing the correct install destination much easier. Although Xbox Quick Resume is an incredible feature, after a lot of use, it can slow down your console. Having multiple games left open suspended in the background can soon get out of control, thus having an impact on not only the console performance, but also your download speeds. If you're experiencing exceptionally slow install speeds, taking a moment to do some quick housekeeping by closing all of the current suspended games can dramatically improve the available internet bandwidth and get things moving faster once again. These are just some of the cool hidden features and mistakes you should avoid when using your Xbox Series S, but there are many more. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like and consider subscribing for future uploads. But for now, if you want to learn more about the best budget storage options for the Xbox Series S, you should check out this video next.